Off we go then. Iniesta. Xavi. In the box. Goal! And that was quick. It is the perfect start. Oh, what a moment of magic that was. He was brave to try it, but it was well, well worth the effort. There is nowhere quite like this for noise. The capacity crowd getting behind their team. Scholes. Berbatov. A long-range effort. Sharp intake of breath all round as that one goes wide. They've started the first five minutes really brightly, getting into the box and getting that shot away. A very, very good start. PK. Reads it well. Can he find the target in the middle? Arrived in the box. A quick reaction from the keeper there to punch it out. It'll be a corner. It's curling in. Oh, that's a vital block. Oh, no, he's put through his own goal. Oh, that is a shame. Sometimes, unfortunately, it happens, but nobody likes to concede a goal like that. Skulls. What now? Can he get a decent cross in? Wide, and by some distance. Well, he's usually deadly with his head from inside the six-yard box. Berbatov. Booted to safety. 15 minutes played. That pass didn't make it. Scholes. Tries one. And it's a really well taken goal. It is in, this showman has scored, he knows how to milk a crowd, the celebration supreme, but the goal itself, straightforward. I just think in midfield he's almost the perfect player, great vision, superb energy, and he scores too. Pedro. Can he get a clean strike here? Clears it away with his head. Rooney. Xavi. Nani. Opportunity here. Good defending. Pedro. Nani. Rooney. Iniesta. Villa. We've nearly reached the half hour mark. Maxwell. Excellent defending there. 
against goals. Nani for parity he's on the end of it and a punch away by the keeper there sends it behind for a corner kick to the target in the centre not a bad attempt but it's gone off to the left out of nothing he's produced an effort like that shame about the end result though Sergio Busquets Daniel Alves superb intervention Scholes O'Shea Berbatov Rooney Evra in the right place at the right time Evra Pedro Iniesta into the box booted away the whistle goes to end the first period a fairly entertaining half let's hope that the second is every bit as exciting well, although they're ahead, they've been quite limited on the ball, really, for me. The fans will want them to open up a bit more, certainly get more width in their play, need more of an expansive game. We're well, set up nicely for the second half, then. 2-1 the score. So here's the second half, then. More of the same will doubtless please their manager. Will he find the target? The keeper comes and collects it. Daniel Alves Xavi Pedro Can he get a clean strike here? It's a corner as the keeper punches that one It's across the face of goal. Chance here. Good clearance there. Berbatov. Xavi. No way through. Nani. Was in the right place to intercept that one. Pedro. Messi. Will he find the target? The keeper comes and takes the ball. Great chance for the counter. Surely he can put it away. Sergio Busquets. Pedro.
timely interception. Ball to feet. Goal! It's in. Oh, he beat the defence expertly. He steadied himself. One glance at the keeper. And my, didn't he pull the trigger? That was a great run off the ball to latch onto the through pass, and he was so composed to beating the keeper. Pedro. Possibility here for a cross. Crosses. Into the area. And that's the mark of a true goal scorer. It is in. This showman has scored. He knows how to milk a crowd. The celebration supreme. But the goal itself, straightforward. There's just not a lot more you can say about a midfielder like that. This play is full of class, style and great goals. Skulls. Giggs. O'Shea approaching the last 15 minutes of the game. Knocks it in along the floor. No, an own goal, I don't believe it. And the return ball, safely delivered. Giggs. Messi. Villa. Berbatov. Play surges forward. Sends the ball wide. Glancing header. Clearance picked up, will he have a go? Still not properly cleared. Rooney. Puyol. Iniesta, five minutes to go to full time and the scores are level, still enough time for a goal and who knows at this stage probably the winner. Berbatov. Pedro. Daniel Alves, Xavi, that's good play on the wing, vital interception in his own box. And he sends it in. The referee has ended the second half with the scores level, nothing to separate the two sides after 90 minutes. So we go into extra time. You know, they must be ruining their inability to put this game away. I think with the match now all square, they've got to go and try and win it again. The first half of extra time underway now. A lot of tired legs out there. A true test of fitness and stamina from here on in. It's all about who wants it more at this stage. Maybe a shot.
Smith is aimed towards the far post. Fine defending. Within range. Oh, fantastic save. Clear. Reasonable effort, but lacked accuracy. What a move, and that final shot was close to perfection. PK. Play pushes forward then. His right foot shot was well struck, but it wasn't good enough to beat the keeper. Calmly done, back it goes. O'Shea. They're breaking out quickly here. Strikes it from distance. Puts it away. It is in. Oh, he steadied himself. He looked around. He took the applause of the crowd. And then he finished them off. Oh, that was taken really well with his left foot. goals deliberate foul the end of the first half of extra time they'll be happy with the lead but the big question is can they hold on for the win well, it may well be a case of who's got most to give now. Fitness levels look good, and it's not any less competitive. No more kickoffs. This is it. The talk of technical brilliance or individual skill is over. Now, it's just about the level of fitness and hunger that the players have. Will there be any drama? Pedro a long ball forward poorly attempted pass Rooney Scholes can he make a chance the keeper holds it Iniesta, Messi, yep, offside there, to the massive relief of the opposition defenders. Villa. Chopped him down there, has to be a free kick. The referee shows him the yellow card, didn't go for the ball, just took the player out. Might consider himself a tad lucky not to see red. Rooney. They've scored! They've scored! You could see he was under pressure. But he kept his composure, saw where the keeper was, and picked his spot. Oh, he really is such a handful for any defence, it's just impossible to stop him scoring.
Berbatov. O'Shea. Didn't get the ball there. Free kick. Here's a strike. The keeper deals with it. Daniel Alves. It's the end of the second half of extra time and still the scores are level. The players look exhausted, but they'll have to face now the pressure of the penalty shootout. Listen, when you go behind the next... We go into the penalty shootout where even the nerves of experienced penalty takers will surely be tested. the all-important first taker he should struck with some authority oh no he's missed it I don't believe it he's put it wide you can see in his eyes how disappointed he is with that one that's no problem he really needs to put this away. If he misses, it's almost certain they'll crash to another. He's put it in the right-hand side of the net. He miskicked it. Well, the keeper won that mental battle, and the strikers put that well wide. Only one winner of that duel. He outsmarted the keeper, and it's in. Goes for the right side. Oh, that's a great penalty in such a tense situation to tie the score at three each. He's put it down the middle. It's a simple equation. He must score to keep them in the game. Can he? It's there and his team fights on. It's in. This one vital kick could decide the match. If he misses, shot missed, and that, I'm afraid, is the match. That's decided the game. And that shows it's all about composure, about keeping your nerves in check. One team was just better prepared mentally for the shootout. Well, it's been such a long match, and the penalty shootout is always a difficult way to end the game, but I thought they did really well to hold their nerve and come through. Thank you, Jim, for joining me this afternoon. That is all we have time for.